Hello everyone, today we are continuing our story in Mafias, the first part, like the first part in trilogy, and today we will get another one part of story, so let's find what did we got. Hey bud, I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. So oh. the mole is a rat, like informer. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. So the Frank is more. More than 50 huh? years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. That's a serious but trouble why? we got. I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. Gotcha. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Got it. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. We gotta today, keep Tom. a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Oh. <laughs> when Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. Hmm? The collectible one? We gotta get those books back before the feds use them again. And now for the latest news. The Navy is today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivors' rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national disaster and said that he grieves with the wife.
Okay. So I really had almost nothing. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I don't mm -hmm. know. How'd you hear? FBI's Little Tony got some guy drunk bad. in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Anyway, the Tom has so big buckets. So 20 bucks is almost nothing for him. Like, he gets half of the dollar for the right, like, uh, caviar, but, uh, as a gangster, he's so good paid. This year's gold series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the cannon's home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Many of the plotteds and column inches have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, three three, he may well be the key man that brings the Whitman Trophy back to last heaven. But doing so will be no easy task, as standing in his way is opposition captain Foghorn, Jack Seidel. His solo home run in the bottom of the fifth inning of Game 5 turned events in favor of the Empire Bay team. Victory was cancelled out by the Lancers in Game 6, and we now have a powder kick finale that is sure to have everyone glued to their radios. I don't and wanna break the flowers and don't wanna... Hits the vehicle, so everything okay, Tom. I don't know. No, nah. no, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave mm -hmm. me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that Council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom. I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? Now he knows so. Okay. Uh, you need to watch where you're going. now to the coverage of game seven of the gold series and by the looks of it ladies and gentlemen will be underway any minute now the crowd here in the armory are maybe restless. the frank in the safe house so. attention as we approach this the deciding game between these two famous rivals more than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years of course this occasion more than any other could prove feisty what with the drama that closed out the previous game that, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancer star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers. Elms, Graves, and Nicholson. Smith seem to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position, so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Armory, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more.
out of the car! Sir, you're gonna need to pay a fine. It'll do nicely. He's too kind. I'd have hauled you in in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a little extra from him. Keep your nose clean in the future, eh? Yeah. Uh, Scotty Brady's fine. Back to patrols. Looks like the place. Such a nice one home, by the way. Is this fats? Take me to those Let's account do this. books, Frank. And we return now to coverage what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire. Why he's so slow on, on this one. There is no lighters. Strange for me. This is the first one time when I see a bike. And what it was, it was in the North Park, okay. Gotta be some kind of meat happening. Yeah, it could be. Okay. Maybe it will be like uh, out shit. town. They taking you to the airport, Frank. Second one. What the heck? Federal post. Okay.
It looked like airport. Christ, <laughs> they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Hmm. That's bad. Is we have to push? The feds take charge here. I guess we all want the same thing. We can't say I'm happy dealing with these. Hunger five people. Catch. Is there somebody else here? No, nice. hasn't the honor to even show his face for a rat like you nah get in the car Second one. The heck of this shit. Where is the normal one? Here. Get cover. Cut him. Take this gun. 
Oh. Now this is interesting. <laughs> figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Tom. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, But please. of course, the character will save them. Or not, I don't know. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Wait for the dawn to put two in my temple. Doesn't get the last words. Damn you, Frank. Two packs of money for flights? Not bad for the driver of plane. Not a big plane for sure, but... Whew. I could say I take care of them and this wasn't be a lie. Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Oh. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. For sure. I I get killed like five times, six. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. Yep. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me.
got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. For sure. This is some part of sign for the gangsters world. For the heck of this. Huh. You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. A good man, smart, loyal, <laughs> loyal to his wife, his kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe, but I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Yeah.